even with that said, let me kick this off for a second. Stage, but in this case, I don't mind. It's, that's actually a pretty nice, nice video. Hi guys, I'm the worldwide product marketing manager, Chris Iyer, for the all new Xerox Baltoro High Fusion Inkjet Press, and we're going to call it Baltoro HF from from this point forward. It's a platform, so that's important to note. And what I'm going to do, by the way, you guys were the very first to see that, the first ever, and it'll it'll propagate pretty quickly after 115, but you're the first to see, and there's gonna be a lot of firsts in here. You're the first to see this presentation as well. We've non-disclosed customers, but this is the first time that we have an official executive presentation for this. So lots, lots of firsts, and then after this, we go out on the floor and you get to see it up close and personal. I feel bad. Apologies to Elizabeth Goodling. I was with her, and it's co-located with her, in San Diego at a Solomar conference, and I could have said, but I didn't, so apologies, <laughs> Elizabeth. Good. That's your job. <laughs> I know, I kept the secret. Okay. So this is all about innovation and breakthroughs in this space. Uh, what I'm going to walk you through in the next few minutes is how we are leapfrogging the competition. Leapfrogging them. It's not parody, it's not playing catch up. It is a giant leapfrog over them. So I'm going to prove that out as we go through the, the slides. We're building on a value proposition on Brenva. Brenva's taken exit stage left. Valtor and Brenva will not coexist in, in the marketplace. It's like cavemen and dinosaurs. Despite what the Flintstones said, they didn't exist at the same time. Brenva takes stage left, and the reason why is because Valtoro will do everything that Brenva did and more. It's important to know. So that, that value proposition was around powerful productivity and familiar flexibility. I think Steve Lockley hit on it pretty nicely about productivity. And I'm gonna restate it again for customers when we're in the theater. We see productivity the same way that our customers do. Um, the challenge in this space is a lot of people measure productivity by the speedometer. How fast that thing goes, right? Like for, for example, offset presses under 450 impressions per minute. Offset presses go really fast, but it can take two to three weeks, depending on your job, to get that back into your customer's hands. So what we classify as performance is the same way the customers look at it. How long does it take to get something on that press and into my customer's hands as a product? And that's what we're focused on with, with Baltoro. We build on the, the Brenva legacy, which built on the iGen heritage and legacy. We're really proud of that, by the way. Really proud of that. When the industry wanted cut sheet inkjet, they said, start from a, a position of strength, a flagship platform, that, that's the iGen platform. Take what you know, take what works, and then modify that for inkjet, as opposed to an alternative which is coming from kind of a continuous speed space and rejiggering that into a cut sheet experience. So we build on Brenda. That heritage inspired paper path and reliability. This is two decades in the making, by the way, right? Class setting productivity, industry leading color automation on and off the press, and a best in breed controller that makes that journey with, with Baltoro. So let's talk about the, the innovation. We now have an end to end single vendor design. It, this is important. Everything inside that box is us. It's the same way that when you go out and you look at the iGen, you open up and we say, This is Xerox. We can now do that with Baltoro. The competition can't do that. So everything from engine to frame, that's us. And that's enabled by an all-new high fusion print engine. It's powered by automated intelligence. That's what the AI stands for. And inside that box, and we're going to go deep into these details pretty soon. Inside the box are Xerox exclusive high fusion W series prints. They're our print heads. We design them, we manufacture them, we even OEM them out to other vendors in, a, in multiple spaces. Right? Not just for it's textiles and others. So and all of this is intended to deliver extensible media support from plain inkjet to coded media support. 
direct to media support. That's important to note as well. You can have any number of vendors that claim, oh yeah, we print on coded stuff. You sure do with a priming crutch. So without further ado, let's dive into the value proposition. What we're doing with Veltor is unlocking transformative performance and results for customers. And that's done through best-in-class automation, by the way, and a lot of that automation is ported over from Brenda and iGen, FreeFlow Core. I'd be remiss in not mentioning that even though you have a best-in-breed engine, even though you have a best-in-breed controller, you have to have best-in-breed automation to help drive all of that. And what we're doing is we're delivering on value, volume, and velocity. You're gonna hear that come up time and time and time again in the afternoon. The printer's triangle is effectively dead. That's a bold statement, by the way. It's effectively dead, right? Um, I'm gonna optimize, as a printer, I'm gonna optimize cost, speed, and quality. That is the race to the bottom. Congratulations, that's, that's the commodity triangle. If I can get you something really fast and, and, and uh, really cheap and it's passable, sellable quality, that's great. Actually, it's not great. At the end of the day, what the end customer wants is value on the page. It doesn't have to pretty, it has to meet value, it has to meet business objectives. So value and driving the volume and velocity that you can get from alternative technologies, for example, an offset. That's the promised land for inkjet, right? Value, volume, and velocity. It's gonna occupy the same space that Brenda did, right? In cut sheet inkjet. A business driving balance of value, volume, and velocity starts with the High Fusion print engine. Powered by Xerox innovative W series print heads with true high definition 1200 by 1200 DPI resolution, and by Xerox High Fusion Inks, designed for versatility and exceptional offset coded media performance with signature image quality. Delivered by Xerox exclusive automated intelligence and perfected by operator accessible features that let you balance ink coverage, cost, and quality for each job. So that's kind of a summary of that high fusion print engine. Diving into that, let's start with the print heads. I mentioned that Xerox developed them, Xerox manufactured them, and they are true high definition 1200 by 1200 DPI. It's not perceived, it's not simulated, like you would see, for example, in, in alternative technologies, it's true 1200 by 1200. And that gives us a number of advantages, by the way. It's not just in the, the resolution on the page, but you also get the benefits, we'll talk about in a second, missing jet detection and compensation, right? When you have two drops that are half the distance, as they used to be with 600 by 600, it makes it not only easier to compensate, but also it is imperceptible when it's compensated. We'll get into that again. Even if you didn't like it, even if you did not care about the amazing resolution on that sheet, you say, that's ah, not for me, here is what's for you. So we have a class setting print width. We now print 13.76 inches. And back, by the way, the maximum sheet width is 14.33. What it enables is being able to print legal sized applications long edge feed. That gives us a productivity advantage day one of 115% over the competition because we can run the long edge feed, they can't. Simply said. Here's another way to look at it. Even if the speedometer is the same, right? If you have like, for example, a Prius and a bus and they're racing each other exactly 60 miles per hour, they cross the finish line at the same time. If the bus is carrying eight times more people, which is more productive, it's the bus, of course. So that's the way we see it, right? Be, being able to do that long edge feed gives you a productivity advantage. Those are the high fusion print heads. Now, our secret sauce is automated intelligence. Uh, simply put, it's a set of evergreen advanced image controls. And I mentioned earlier, right, it's, it's two decades worth of engineering know-how. Starts with iGen, um, and it is powered by this brain that we call the full width array. You guys should be familiar with the full width array. That technology uh, is consistent across our toner portfolio and now in our inkjet portfolio. And it does things, for example, like density optimization. It helps with our missing jet detection and compensation, which is unique to inkjet. So what we ported over from toner technology is truly optimized for the inkjet experience. It also delivers on Clear Pixel Plus, multi-level half-toning emulation, in case you guys are interested in that later, and more. Someone's gonna ask me, what is all of that? I can answer that in the Q&A. 
So let's talk about the IQ characteristics that customers are going to care about, why this is a leapfrog over the competition, not, not just in the, in the performance. So broad media support, it's direct media support, right? We're printing direct to media without priming and pre-coding. That's really important for customers, incredible fine line detail. This is where you differentiate true 1200 by 1200 versus simulated or perceived that you get with two bit print technology with 600 by 600. You, you, the devil's in the details, right? When you put a loop on the sharp edges of this content, that's where it comes out. Now, your question is going to be when this finally comes up is, will I get to see this diagnostic print? Yes, actually, we have copious amounts of them out on the floor that we'll be handing out to customers. Rich, vibrant color and white gamut, right? And if you think of it like the Pepsi Challenge, if you take our ink, high fusion ink, and you put it against HD ink or competitive Aquarius ink, we will always have a wider gamut and deeper optical density. Amazingly smooth sweeps, gradients, tints, and more. Clear Pixel Plus with deterministic technology, it's a very fancy way of saying, we've now optimized the background sneezing pattern because you can't do flush lines between frames in a cut sheet press. Um, the dot size for this press is smaller than the smallest drop size on the previous technology, the outdated or older printed technology. So we have a 4.5 picoliter drop. So the, the sneezing pattern is going to be almost imperceptible to begin with. But what this means, this deterministic technology, means it's truly randomized. No two pixels can be nested together, so they can't become apparent. As opposed to the competition, which can sometimes have clustering of dots and becomes apparent. Multi-level half-turning emulation, uniformity and density optimization, sharp edges, perfect color registration, object level inclementing, it goes on and on and on. Right, proof's in the pudding. So I'm, I'm gonna have to put samples in front of you so you guys see this for yourself. Intense black, and by the way, intense black, depends on what media. Intense black on plain paper is not the same as intense black on, on coated stock. Defect free. In case you guys haven't been following it for the past five years. So when, when there's a dinner bell rang for entry production inkjet, Everyone went running for the Kyocera KJ4B. You guys know the model number better than anyone else. They're in a number of different presses. Our presses and others. But they had kind of a banding issue that was, was never really got past with some of the competition. These heads, defect free. And that's important for customers in the commercial print space, graphic arts, who need to go beyond quote unquote sellable print. <clears throat> Cost quality optimization, it's basically a way of putting color management and control in customers' hands. It's free flow print servers, ability to, for example, five minutes or less, build your own color profile, be able to spot color match, which is important in this space. We put the controls in the operator's hands versus the alternative is being beholden to a vendor to do that color profiling for you. And we have the latest X-ray inline spectrophotometer. The reason why is it accounts for Brighteners, for example, in coated media and has M1 illumination. And so it is the latest and greatest inline spectrum company. We're the only one in this class that offers it. And then I talked about missing jet detection and compensation. It's in real time. It's greater frequency, greater accuracy, greater efficiency. New RGB sensor technology, so every 250 sheets, we're able to scan and correct on the fly while you're running. Like I said before, because of the resolution, it's easier to compensate, and that compensation is imperceptible. <clears throat> I tend to call this, <clears throat> between friends, the Russian nested doll of awesomeness. This is, this is, <laughs> we're all friends here. <laughs> this is the summary of the features I went over, and then I'm gonna, I think we're, we wanna see this thing up close and personal. I do, again. I see it every day, but I don't go see it. Over and over again. Okay, let's start with, and I, by the way, I never mentioned the speed. I like getting this point in the presentation saying, I didn't once mention how fast this thing goes. I didn't need to. What's different between this and Brenda is 300 impressions per minute is built right. You can license it, but there's no hardware upgrade kit that you have to go through. It's a licensable feature if you want it or need it. And when you do license it, that's equivalent of two iGens in one platform. Okay, that's important to know. Uh, it's driven by high fusion printheads. 
They're ours, exclusive to Xerox. We made them. We OEM them out there. The folks, and by the way, one of the developers of the brand, he's here. He's in the building, Chad Salinas. So uh, if he's around, grab him. Ask him questions. Uh, native 1200 by 1200 DPI, I mentioned that. And a class setting print width. Please write that one down, that's an important one. 115% productivity advantage over the competition. Perfected by automated intelligence, that's exclusive to Xerox as well. Advanced image controls that are evergreen. We will continue to update those as time goes on. An operator optimized by cost quality optimization. Operator control over color. And all of this is fueled by the new blood of high using name for cut sheet. It's not new, it's been in the market since 2017, but it's absolutely brand new to the cut sheet space. All right, so I said a lot, and I said I think really, really fast. <laughs> so I'm like, uh -huh. Before we open it up for Q&A, you guys want to go see this thing? If we, yeah. can, can, uh, can we go to Q&A first? Well, hold on, what? let me mention one thing first, Marco. Okay. Here's what I got in my hot little hands, and, and you guys are all gonna get one of these. This is our sample, y'all leave with one. 